Welcome back all month long. We're taking a deeper look at climate change. It's a topic that teenagers and young adults around the world are starting to get involved in and some things uh, that sometimes can lead to something called climate anxiety to help us understand this better and ways to help as our nine wellness expert Heather Hans. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, Natasha. So let's talk about this study that recently looked into climate anxiety. First, can you tell us more about what that concept is? Absolutely. This, this was a study of 10,000 young people ages 16 to 25 in 10 different countries, finding that they feel sad, anxious, and angry about climate change and the fact that their voices are being ignored. And um, having your reality dismissed is a common experience among abuse victims and also vulnerable and marginalized populations. But studies like this one are giving them a voice through climate change lawsuits because they can show evidence of moral injury under human rights laws. And there, the American Psychological Association also has tips on how to deal with this anxiety that's caused by climate change that can help them. You know, it can feel really overwhelming sometimes uh, when you talk about these complex topics. So let's break it down. Let's talk about solutions. What are some of the tips that you have? Sure. So one of them is simple, but so important is to learn how to control their anger and sadness. These young people are finding that as much as they're doing to help the environment, just as much as being done to tear it down, literally with trees being cut up daily. So one thing that's important for them to do is pause before acting when they feel these overwhelming feelings in order to avoid doing something that can make them feel worse and instead come up with long term solutions like finding mentors and role models. Researchers have found that when young people have role models, they're more resilient. And, and these role models should be in addition to family, people who have some similar characteristics as them and who will listen to them and model how to handle these difficult emotions. Um, so parents can, can encourage their kids to ask teachers, coaches, people they work with. There are also formal mentoring programs for mentors and mentees that can be found online. And one other thing that's really important is for them to believe in their own resilience and think in new ways. This study showed that two thirds of young people feel seriously worried about climate change, especially in countries that have been hardest hit. And so it's important for them to also focus on the present moment and what's good about those circumstances. And we can help them by finding where progress is being made with the climate and, and sharing that with them. So all of these things can help lift their spirits and reduce their anxiety. Right, yeah, believing in their own resilience, maybe they can feel more empowered, more in control of the situation. Uh, my last question for you, Heather, how can young people have more power to help the climate? Yes, absolutely. They can. And there's power in numbers. So if they connect with like minded people, they can find other solutions and alternatives instead of just giving up. Students can form or join clubs. They can major in environmental studies. Uh, young adults can join organizations like the Sierra Club or national parks and boycotting companies and legislators who don't show environmental concern can be very powerful when done in community. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of that with young people too. Heather, thank you so much. Nice to see you. My pleasure. Great to see you. Thank you.